So we had an exceptional day yesterday. Uh, we had Angelique on board for the first time. We, we actually caught 44 massive big fat gar. And uh, we use that Tassie salmon oil, so we're gonna give it another dash today. Uh, heading at the ramp this morning at the ramp uh, tackle shop, uh, the guy there who's the master garfisher, apparently. The garfish guru. The garfish guru didn't hook a gar yesterday. Said they were everywhere, but he just couldn't catch them. And uh, we just had an amazing day. So thanks, uh, Tassie Salmon Oil. We think you may have been the major contributing factor to our success. So today we've got shares on board, which is great. Yesterday we had Angelique. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Looking forward to having another day on the water with the girls. So 31 degrees in Adelaide today, and look at the glass conditions. It's just gonna be friggin' perfect. Here's Faye. Faye's a bit more awake today Morning. than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so here's for a great day's fishing in South Australia. Today we're launching from North Haven, which is the western suburbs of Adelaide. What are you doing, Skip? Well, I need to bring a sponge, and I bloody didn't bring one. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, catch some garfish this morning. Now, this fish oil mix, it's 100% Australian um, salmon oil. It comes from Tassie. It's made here in South Australia. It's, it's pure Aussie stuff, so it's got no extras in it. I've used it before. The great thing with this is it stays in the burly trail. So if you're using it for a, a deep drop, the, it stays down there and disperses into that trail, whereas tuna oil comes straight to the top. So what I'm going to do is, I meant to bring a sponge, but I didn't get one. I'm going to use a cloth. I'm going to soak that with a bit of this, chuck some burly pellets in there, chuck it out the back here, and we'll see what happens. All right, so hopefully the garfish are around and um, get some garfish. Great thing with this stuff is you can't actually get it in the shop at the minute, you can get it online. Um, it is more expensive than tuna oil, but look, give these guys, give us a hoy, and we'll give you a code so you can go and buy it online. We're just going to set um, some nets we're just out off a semaphore. Now we use cable ties mainly in the boat as opposed to the metal clip simply because our crab bait usually consists of nanagai, swallowtail, flathead, that type of stuff that we've caught down um, out of Cape Jervis. Just need to make sure that you do get rid of your table um, cable ties without chucking them back in the water. So make sure you take your rubbish home. Okay? So we're just going to this is a whiting frame we caught from down there. I believe this was phase whiting. All right, what do you think you got there? Oh, a little bit of thump, I'm hoping a nana guy. But as we haven't had a lot of luck with that and we've only had rats, I'm not sure. So hopefully Sharky's getting us some dinner. Is it still on? Yeah, I think the auto. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's still on. No, it's uh, Oh, King oh, George Have a whiting, guys. Yeah. Well, that's a nice whiting, well, no, guys. for tea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you beauty. There you go. Yeah, that's a thumper. He's a yeah. kidney slapper. Yeah. So we got some tea at last. Thank you. We're just going to thread it through the eye socket. And then we've also got a flathead that we're going to put on here. So again, we're just going to thread it through, like so. And then our bag of chips here. Pull that up off here. We've also got some swallowtail frames from our last outing as well. So it's really good if you can recycle things. It's an area, that one. And we'll pour it. What have we got in there? We need to do the other side as well. So we're going to put two of these on. 
Don't suck it. So you can already see why we don't put them on a clip. Because it's just too much. So this is what we've got. Looks like a necklace. Ooh, you wouldn't want to wear it out. Yeah. Something, something fishy going on around here. And we're just going to tie this into the net. Right, so all we do is just put it through like so. And then just thread it through. Put it through like that. And just pull it up tight. Right, so we've got that, we've got our rope here, we just need to undo a bit of rope. And then, over the now we've got a sand patch here, I can see it underneath us, so we really want that crab net just to sit on the edge of the can. So, crab net number two. How much bait do we put on? Here's one that Mans has prepared earlier. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's enough bait just to get that smell in the water. And again, we just put it in and under, centre of the net, put the cable tie through like so. You don't have to have such heavy duty ones as these, but this is all that I could find in the husband's uh, tool shed. <laughs> so that's what we've got. Thanks, Kimmy. <laughs> now we just need a rope to attach to this one, which is here. <laughs> Alright, so we just clip this one on. It's easy to clip them on and off instead of wrapping ropes all through your crab net and all that sort of stuff. Now these crab nets are really good heavy duty ones. You can get these at the ramp as well. Um, the tide runs fairly quickly down through here, so if you just use the light nets, they will actually just drift off, tip upside down and fill up with weed. So we tend to use the heavier ones. And we only use two, one on each side. Otherwise the garfish get caught up and everything. Yep, yep, yep. See, so much on the side. So, yeah, just chuck it down, away she goes. And Lizzie, we've got the garfish, burly pot in. Save you the burly pot for the garfish. Right, so that has some pellets in it and it also has a rag in there that we've soaked with some Australian. Um, salmon oil, some Tassie salmon oil, because we know after yesterday that that stuff works a treat. After the break, we start catching some garfish. Oh, and maybe a crab or two as well. Before the break, we got our burley trail set up and our crab nets in the water. So now we just wait. Yeah, you can see our oil slick, like it's hardly Bait, you yeah. got a bite there. Oh, Faye's got a bite, so that's already working. Yeah. And it's not even, we're not even sorted out yet. <laughs> Man, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, oh, look at that. Thanks, Tazzy Oil. Oh, and it's a garbage. Oh, yeah, look at the size. Oh, look at the size. Oh, yum. These are little fat ones. Actually, this one's really short compared to yesterday. But you can see how fat that is, right? Now he's coming on that oil because garfish come in on the oil and he's engulfed that hook. But you know, so look at that. That's a nice that was cheating. That's a nice little fat garfish. He's a bit short, but he, oh as far as being humongous goes, he's more than legal. But he's going in a nice slurry, because he's coming home for dinner. The Tassie salmon fish oil worked a treat. The garfish were in our early trail straight off. Haven't even got the nice slurry sorted out. The fish are coming on the boat. Jeez, I'm gonna get my act together. Here we go, Mr. Garfish. Right, I think we're in for a cranker of a day. Yeah. It's just gonna the weather's be... fine. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So Mans has just put her line in, straight onto a garfish, yeah. and it looks like another nice size gar. Woohoo! Woo! Jeez, well, did, did you grab that gar off? Mans will drop it over the side and back in the water. <laughs> I'll record him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, another nice gar. He's going in the slurry. A pair of good sunglasses when you're out gar fishing <laughs> yep. is the yeah, best thing you can invest yeah. in. 
Fish on for Sharky. Can't wait to get me a pair of tonics. Sharky's on. Sharky's give me my on. tonics back. Oscar. What's a double? No. You got a double header? Oh, a weenie and a two weenies. Oh. That top one can go back in, I reckon, yeah, for eight. Yep, yep. But we'll keep that bottom one because yep. he is uh, more than legal, and even if he becomes a bait, that top one's probably legal too, but he's just too weak. No, Let's we'll put him back. Go. Goodbye, be careful, yeah. baby. Let him go, watch him grow. <laughs> awesome, Goodbye. another one into the ass way. Good work, Jess. Good work, Faye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a horse. This that is, is a, horse. a big garfish. Is oh, that a big garfish? Can we garfish, please? <laughs> <laughs> is that a big garfish, yes? Or is that's, that a... that's a bloody nice one. That's a stomper. It's a stonker, isn't it? Yeah. On. Just in time. Go shats. Go shats. Oh, and yeah, still going. Bring it round the side of the crab net, um, rope. Beautiful! Oh, <laughs> another garfish. Not as big as the other ones, but definitely legal. And that's usually about the size gar, Faye. That's okay. usually about the average size, size of a gar. Oh, well, then the others are rather large. They are rather large. Faye had in her head that they were going to be like Snoop. Oh, yes, I, I expected it to be big thumpers, yes. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one too, Shez. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, a blooming good yummy. size. Very yummy. Very yummy. And he's pooped in there. Oh. And this side. How are you going there, man? Do you want to? Yeah. Just trying to take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> slowing oh. down. You're slowing down? <laughs> We haven't been here for long and it's time just to check the crab nets. Oh, this is really heavy. I see this little weed. Oh, got an easy way in there or something. We can't hardly pull this up. And we can't see the net. Oh, yeah. Tip if I can make that. Oh, weed. With all that weed in the net, we didn't think there would be a crab in there at all. Running fast like this. A crab is there. Ah! <laughs> After all that. After all that. And I reckon he's a keeper yeah. as well. Yep. Right, we'll just grab him. He's spicy. Just hold the net and grab him. So if we grab both paws, then he's not going to get us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yesterday you used one of their claws to open the other claw. Yeah, no, I just got to get them out of one of them, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, this is your claw. Open up, open up. Here we go. Righty-o. So now we're going to measure him. I think he'd be all right, but I'm not sure. He's going to be a...